Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, lend your ears and open your hearts. For the time is upon us when we must stand as one against the darkness that seeks to engulf our nation. Today I bring to you a message of profound importance, a warning given through the voice of Father Jim Blount, a servant of God and a missionary of the International Flame of Love movement. His words are not just a gentle whisper, but a divine trumpet, calling us to vigilance, prayer, and unwavering faith. Hungary, you are in the sights of a spiritual battle that rages unseen, a conflict more deadly than any physical war, for it targets not your body, but your very soul. Father Blount has been shown through divine revelation that forces of darkness are gathering, seeking to unravel the moral fabric of this great nation. These are no mere shadows. They are the legions of the evil one, intent on dragging Hungary into chaos, despair, and spiritual desolation. But fear not, for there is a way to protect ourselves, a powerful weapon entrusted to us by heaven. This weapon is not of steel or fire, but of prayer, the prayer of oneness with the Lord, a divine gift bestowed by the Blessed Virgin Mary herself. This prayer, my dear people, is our shield and sword in these tumultuous times. Only this prayer can save us from the clutches of the evil one. Will you stand idle, or will you take up this heavenly mantle and join the ranks of the faithful warriors? Father Jim Blount has warned us that Hungary stands at a critical crossroads. In a recent vision, he saw dark clouds gathering over Budapest, not mere symbols of stormy weather, but the presence of Satan himself hovering over our beloved capital. These demonic forces are not content with mere disruption. They seek to sow division, confusion, and moral decay. They come to turn children away from their parents, to lead the youth into the abyss of addictions, and to pervert the innocent through the insidious lies of gender confusion and moral relativism. Hungary, you are not alone in this spiritual war. Across the world, we see nations falling to the seductive whispers of the New World Order, a godless agenda that seeks to strip humanity of its faith, its values, and its very identity. This agenda is not just a distant threat, but a very present danger, one that has already infiltrated our schools, our communities, and even our homes. It aims to reshape society, to create a world where God is forgotten and where sin is celebrated as freedom. Father Blount's prophetic message is clear. Hungary is under attack, not from armies of flesh and blood, but from spiritual forces that aim to corrupt, destroy, and enslave. The evil one has set his sights on this nation, knowing that Hungary holds a unique place in God's plan. Yet God has not abandoned us. Through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, we have been given a prayer that has the power to blind Satan and drive out the demons that threaten us. But this prayer must be wielded with faith, unity, and urgency. The Blessed Virgin Mary gave a powerful prayer to the saintly Hungarian woman, Erzabet Karoli Kindleman, over six decades ago. This prayer, known as the prayer of oneness with the Lord, is not just a collection of words, but a divine shield, forged in the fires of heaven to protect Hungary from the forces of darkness. This prayer calls upon Jesus to unite our hearts, minds, and souls with his divine will, to create a bond so strong that no evil can penetrate it. Father Blount was shown that this prayer holds the power to blind the demons, rendering them powerless against those who recite it with faith. This prayer is our spiritual armor, capable of defending not just individuals, but the entire nation. He urges every Hungarian, Catholic, and Protestant alike to embrace this prayer, to recite it at least four to five times a day, for it is through this devotion that we will find the strength to resist the temptations and assaults of the evil one. The prayer of oneness goes as follows. My beloved Jesus, may our feet walk together, may our hands gather in unity, May our hearts be bound as one. May our thoughts be aligned with yours. May our ears listen together to the silence of your love. May our eyes look into yours and melt in your gaze. May our lips pray together for mercy to the Eternal Father. Amen. Hungry, this is not just a prayer. It is a lifeline, a divine weapon that can turn back the tide of darkness. Will you wield it? Father Blount has warned of a great spiritual army poised to invade Hungary, seeking to bring this nation to its knees. He saw the forces of the New World Order, 
backed by the malevolent designs of individuals like George Soros, who seek to impose their godless agenda upon us. These are not just the schemes of men, but the machinations of the evil one, working through the powerful and the influential to remake society in his twisted image. The threat is real, and it is growing. Already we see the signs of moral decay, the rise of gender confusion, where children are subjected to harmful ideologies that distort their God-given identities. The normalization of sin, where what was once considered evil is now celebrated, and the erosion of faith, where churches grow empty and souls grow cold. The devil is sowing seeds of division, addiction, and despair among our youth, knowing that they are the future of this nation. Father Blount has also pointed to the troubling state of affairs in America, a nation once rooted in Christian values, but now swayed by the winds of secularism and moral compromise. Hungry, do not be deceived. What has happened in America can happen here if we do not stand firm in our faith. We must look to their example as a warning, a sign of what is to come if we do not act. But do not despair, for God has not abandoned us. Father Blount has assured us that Jesus and the Virgin Mary are ready to stand by our side, to fight for us if we turn to them in prayer. Hungary has a special calling to become a nation of saints, a beacon of light in a darkening world. God desires to transform this country into a sanctuary of faith, a land where the love of Christ reigns supreme. We are not called to be passive observers, but active participants in God's plan. We must take up the prayer of oneness as our battle cry, uniting as one people under God to drive out the demons that threaten us. This is our moment, Hungary. Will we rise to the challenge or will we let the darkness consume us? Now is the time, beloved brothers and sisters, to take a stand. Let us not wait until the darkness overtakes us. Let us rise up in prayer, united as one body, one voice, crying out to heaven for mercy, protection, and deliverance. The power is in your hands, the choice is yours. Will you answer the call? Will you take up the prayer that can save this nation? Father Blount has shared this prayer with Hungary's leaders, even with the prime minister, emphasizing its significance in this hour of need. But this prayer is not just for the leaders. It is for every man, woman, and child who calls this land their home. Let us lift up our voices together, invoking the name of Jesus, trusting in the promise of Psalm 91.7. Though a thousand may fall at your side, 10,000 at your right hand, no harm will come near you. Hungry, the time for complacency is over. The forces of darkness are at our gates, but we are not defenseless. With the prayer of oneness, we have the power to push back, to blind the evil one, to reclaim our nation for Christ. Let us march forward hand in hand, hearts united in faith, ready to fight for our future, for our children, for our souls. May God bless Hungary, may His grace shine upon us, and may we stand victorious, a nation united in prayer, a testament to the power of faith. Amen.